Hello my dear J warriors, a uh, lot of students were asking sir, the answer key provisional has been released and uh, that too for the challenge. So what are the questions that we need to challenge NTA so that we can apply for bonus marks and there are also some questions which were debated whether they are out of syllabus or not and should we really challenge them. So clear cut uh, clarity of all the physics questions of J mains 2024 which you should challenge, which you should not challenge, which are out of the syllabus and everything. So quickly smash the like button my dear warriors because the session is about to start and make sure you get all your friends as well as your batchmates live onto the channel. Yes, this is your Vedantu J English channel, right? Now, before I show you all the questions, what is important is when do you get a bonus and when do you not get a bonus, right? Now, let's look at it. If you are talking about objective questions, by the way, this is already there in the brochure of J mains 2024. So you can check it out on page number 17. So for multiple choice questions, the candidates need to choose one option corresponding to the correct option. However, if there is an anomaly or discrepancy which is found after the process of challenge of the key verification, it shall be addressed in the following manner and it has been mentioned on the next page. If Correct answer or the most appropriate answer, you will get 4 marks. Any incorrect option, minus 1. Unanswered, 0. If more than one option is found to be correct, more than one option like A and B and C are correct, then 4 marks will be awarded only to those who have marked any of the correct options. Did you understand? So just because two options are correct does not mean you will get bonus. Only if you have marked any of those two correct options, then you will get bonus. Be very careful about this. If all options are found to be correct, then four marks will be awarded to all those who have attempted the question. Understand? So don't think that, oh sir, all the options were correct. So I thought I'll get bonus. No. Only if you marked any of those options, only then you will get correct. If none of the options are correct and the question only is wrong or the question is dropped, the question only is dropped, then complete marks will be awarded to all the candidates whether you have attempted or not attempted that question. Is this very very clear? Not many students know this. I will show you all the questions. But before that, do you understand the logic of giving bonus? Do you understand the logic be, be, uh, of gi uh, giving these bonus? Right. For numerical type, it is slightly different. There will be negative marking with section B or if another, okay. Now, correct answer, 4 marks. Incorrect answer, negative marks. Unanswered question, 0 marks. That is standard. If a question is found to be incorrect or the question only is dropped, then 4 marks will be awarded to all those who have attempted the question. This is very, very important for numerical value questions. Only if you attempt it, you will get bonus in case the question is dropped. If you did not solve the question, you will not get bonus. The reason could be due to human error or technical error. Candidates are advised to do the calculations with constants given if any. In the questions, the answer should be rounded off to the nearest integer. This is taken from your J mains 2024 brochure only. So let's see the questions. Everybody quickly smash the like button. Yes, everybody quickly smash the like button. Yeah. Are there any bonus questions? Yes, I will show you. Now this is one of the first questions. Look at this. To measure the internal resistance, of a battery potentiometer is used balancing length is this much this is bal uh, with external resistance the balancing length is this much the internal resistance of the battery is approximately a lot of students thought this is a question of meter bridge which is based on the Wheatstone's uh, you know balancing method but actually it is not this is a actual question of potentiometer potentiometer has three applications to function as a voltmeter to measure the internal resistance and to compare the EMFs Potentiometer has been deleted from the syllabus. So, this question cannot be solved by R1 by L2 is equal to L1 by L2. That is completely wrong. In fact, the formula is L2 by L1 minus 1 into R is equal to the internal resistance. So, that's a completely different thing. It's a uh, potentiometer problem. So, this is out of syllabus. Yes, please challenge it. Everybody understood? You're going to challenge this particular question. Yes, you're going to challenge this particular question. Different, I'll be making videos for other subjects also. Don't worry. Then, if you talk about, by the way, this, uh, this question was from 4th April shift 1. Okay, all the 4th April shift 1 students. 
Then 8th April shift 2, this was the question. We solved this question also during the class and uh, during the discussion. There what we did is we considered friction only in this part that is below the spring. That is below the spring. If you consider that, then what happens is you will basically get root 6 I think or, or 2 meters as the answer. I think you will get 2 meters as the answer. Uh, but actually the friction is there completely over here. The friction is there completely over here. Then the answer will be completely different. The answer will be completely different. Whether the friction is there here or whether the friction is there on the complete horizontal surface. That completely changes the answer. Keep this in mind. So that is the reason why this should be a bonus question. Or you, you cannot say I showed the arrow mark from here. So that's why the friction is only there here. So you know that ambiguity has created the problem whether the friction was only for under the spring or for the complete thing. Because the energy equation will change. Gravitational potential energy is equal to spring energy plus work done by friction in this part or work done by friction in the entire part. So that creates the problem. Is that clear? Okay. Then let's talk about 8th April shift 1. Right. Here two options are correct. NTA gave the answer as the first option but the answer ideally that should be correct should be option 1 as well as option 4. I'll tell you why. See the critical angle for incidence is 45 the refractive index of the first and the second. Now here what is the first medium what is the second medium. I can say for me the first medium is dense the second medium is rare but first medium can also be rare and then it is dense. Although you might be inclined towards saying since the question talks about you know critical angle whenever we talk about critical angle light is going from dense medium towards the rarer medium. So that way partially you can say you know dense medium will be first rare medium will be second. It makes slightly more sense but still I mean you can usually you measure the refractive index you know when the light is coming from outside to inside that is rare to dense vacuum to the medium. So that is where the ambiguity lies. So they need to clearly mention the instead of first and second they could have said denser to rare or the rare to dense something like that. So that is the reason why this should be basically considered as a bonus or basically all the students bonus in the sense if you mark one and four then you should be awarded four marks. So some students could have marked either four or one you should be given bonus marks. If you mark two and three obviously you will get negative one. If you didn't attempt it don't expect you will get bonus. I just told you the criteria for getting bonus understood. So if you did not solve only this question it's not like you will get the bonus marks. All right and guys I hope you are subscribing to the channel as you are watching this video because you will miss out on cr uh, crucial critical information for J and other entrance examinations. Okay so quickly smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done that. Then with regards to the 9th April shift to this particular question. Well the correct answer was not there in the question reason being I'll tell you what just happened. NTA gave the answer as 3 but the ideal answer should be 11.7. So what has happened is magnetic field they have given and we all know electric field by magnetic field is velocity of the light. While solving and giving this as the answer they have done magnetic field by electric field. They have done magnetic field by electric field. So instead of uh, uh, speed of light as 3 into 10 to the power 8 they have taken the speed of light as 1 by 3 into t uh, 10 to the power 8. That is why you will get an incorrect answer if you go by our proper method. Otherwise NTA has done a silly mistake instead of 3 into 10 to the power 8. They have done 1 by 3 into 10 to the power 8. So that is completely wrong. So don't do that. So NTA answer is 3. So please, please challenge this particular question. It does not make sense. Challenge this particular question. Everybody clear till this point? Everybody clear till this point? Yes. Okay. And obviously if there is some question by chance I leave out and you feel that that should be a bonus. I want everybody watching this video live or recorded to put it up in the comments after the session is over. And if I get more likes on that particular comment I will definitely keep a watch uh, on that particular question and I will see whether actually the question should be bonus or not and I will let you know. Okay, I'll make a video in case I find any more discrepancies. Okay, regarding this venturi meter question. So what happened is basically uh, here 2gh is equal to v1 square minus v2 square. The problem was 
actually look over here this is the wider section this is the narrower section when you go to the narrow part speed should increase so v2 should be more than v1 v2 at the narrow part should be more than v1 so when you do v1 square minus v2 square what will happen v1 is small v2 is more the answer will be negative over here the answer will be basically negative over here whereas on the left hand side you have a positive quantity so how can a positive quantity be equal to the negative quantity getting my point so actually there is a misprint instead of v1 square minus v2 square it should have been v2 square minus v1 square so understand that so understand that so anyways that is incorrect but uh, nt had given the answer as 2 so that is how it is moving on to 8th april shift number 1 so there were three uh, sorry three and six so two options were uh, possible over here so here the meaning of angular divergence is misunderstood what do they mean and what we thought so let me tell you what exactly happens in this particular question if you take a screen if you take a screen and this is your single slit then you basically get a, a maxima you get a maxima over here on the central part then you basically get your first minima over here then again you get a maxima and then you get your second minima and so on and so forth so from the central line if i draw another line till the first minima this is the first minima this angle is the angular position uh, where you get the first minima this angle i think comes out to be as three degree what they have taken is the angular width so the first minima remember also comes over here first minima also comes over here so this 3 degree and this 3 degree totally they have taken the total angle as 6 degree so the answer they have given is 6 considering you know the first minima from this side to that side is 6 degree so that word is confusing instead of angular divergence they could have used the angular width of the central maxima that would have been better so angular divergence corresponding to the second order minima so that is the problem guys that is the problem so here i think they had asked for second minima not for first minima but you get the idea so they have considered the double angle whereas when we saw uh, you know during the discussion we had taken the single angle so again the problem is whether we should take only the half part or the second part so that is the problem in this question 9th april shift one okay nt has given the answer as four the correct answer should be one uh, that uh, basically you can see over here uh, uh, yeah both the statements are false here they had said that you know statement one is false but statement two is true the problem is with the second statement second statement is not true actually uh, because concave lens always forms a virtual and erect image this only is true if the uh, Im uh, object is real object is real but if the object itself is virtual then it is not true so concave lens always will form virtual and erect image that is uh, definitely not true this is only true for real object for virtual object you can definitely get a real uh, image from a concave lens just like plane mirror a plane mirror gives a virtual image for a real object but i hope you also remember for a virtual object even a simple plane mirror gives a real image real image for a virtual object so depending on the object the nature of the image can change so that was not mentioned so nt answer is for ideal answer should be one so challenge it guys next one this is dimensionally incorrect equation they, uh, a lot of students uh, yeah uh, had told this also pv cube is equal to rt so my dear students how can pv cube be rt actually pv cube will be constant that could have been correct because you might have studied polytropic equation just like pv raised to gamma is adiabatic pv raised to alpha alpha can be any real number that's a polytropic process now here if pv cube is equal to rt it is making gas law only invalid doesn't make sense understood so if if i substitute pv is equal to rt then you know v square will be there uh, outside then rt rt will cancel v square will be a constant that means v is a constant that means volume is a constant obviously volume is not a constant it is disobeying the gas law equation so the equation only is wrong so it should be a bonus question all the students who attempted it should definitely challenge this question should definitely challenge this question i hope this is clear yeah is that right everybody 
Shall we go ahead? Yeah. Cool. So these were the questions which I found to be bonus. If there are more questions, you put it up in the comment section and let me also remind you, if you are preparing for BITSAT, VIT, Triple E, KCT or EAP SAT, then the test series are available for all of you. The links are there in the description box. These test series are full-fledged with part test series and it comes with solutions. Because you are prepared for JE mains, your knowledge is almost through. What is important is, can you manage, you know, in that particular time? Can you, uh, you know, not be surprised by the new paper pattern? Are you comfortable solving many questions? Some of these exams don't even have negative marking, which means, you know, you have to attempt more questions. So the strategy is only completely different. And the best way to, you know, score marks in these exams is basically through, is basically through giving these mock tests. So ensure that you are giving these mock tests. They are at a very, very cheap rate. 499 rupees only. The links are there in the description box. Okay. So earlier price was close to 2000 rupees. So that is the special price for all the warriors who want to prepare for the alternative exams like Telangana or Andhra, uh, you know, EAP SAT exam, which was formerly EMSAT, KCT exam, VIT EEE exam, BITSAT exam, test series are there for all of you. Cool. So check out the link in the description box and I'll be seeing you in the next video in case more clarifications or any more updates come. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for liking. It's your channel. Subscribe to the channel and also like the video. This is your Captain Shriyas signing off. Hasta la vista.